What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today I present to you a complete guide to everything to do with loot. Much has changed in Alpha 20, and I'm going to walk you through everything I've learned from exploring the game files and conducting my own looting experiments. By the end of this video, you'll be the luckiest looter in all Nava's game. There are timestamps below in case you need to jump around or reference back in the future, but otherwise, as Grampy used to say before he drank that forgetting elixir, luck is for the unprepared. So let's begin. Loot stage is a calculation that determines the type of loot that you will find inside containers. It does not affect trader stock or quest rewards. Loot stage is separate from game stage. Game stage equals days alive plus level multiplied by 1.2 and it determines ambient, POI, and horde night zombie spawns. And it used to be used to determine loot as well, but not anymore. Now we have loot stage. This is a dynamic calculation and is equal to your level, but there are many modifiers that can affect this. Let's explore them. But first, let me give you the formula. Level multiplied by biome percentage plus biome number plus tier number plus loot bonus number all multiplied by loot bonus percentage. Now, before you thumbs down my video and unsubscribe, give me a chance to break this down. Your level is easy enough to find, it's in the character menu or in the player's menu. Everyone starts at level 1, and in the core character stats, you can also find your current loot stage. Now let's discuss all of the modifiers in the order in which they are calculated, starting with biome modifiers. Biomes are now graded by difficulty, and entering into a more difficult biome will grant you a bonus to the loot that you can find there. The forest biome is the easiest, and so you will not receive a biome modifier here. Moving on, you will get a modest bonus from looting in the desert biome and the burned biome, which is currently only available in Nava's game. You get a 1.5 times multiplier or plus 50% to your base loot stage, followed by an additional flat plus 10 after that. For example, if you're level 50, and therefore loot stage 50, you get plus 25 from the percentage modifier, followed by plus 10 after that for a final loot stage of 85. You get a moderate bonus from the snow biome, a two times multiplier or plus 100%, which for the non-mathematically inclined like myself, that's double your base loot stage, followed by a flat plus 20 after that. So here's an interesting example. When you are level one and enter the snow biome, your loot stage doubles to level two, but then you get a flat plus 20 on top of that for a total of 22. Finally, we have the Wasteland, where you will receive a 2.5 times multiplier or plus 150% to your base loot stage, followed by plus 30 on top of that. Here's one last example. Let's say at level 30, you enter the Wasteland and get plus 150%, which would put you at loot stage 75, followed by another plus 30, leaving you at loot stage 105. Here's where things get interesting. You get an additional modifier based on your location. That is, if you're in a POI or in the wilderness. In the wilderness, there is no modifier given. You just get your base loot stage and the bio multiplier. However, you get a tier one bonus if you are in a city, town, trader, remnant POI, or tier one questable POI. You get a tier two bonus for being in a tier two POI, a tier three bonus for a tier three POI, and so on, you get the point. Now listen closely. At level 1, you get an extra 3 loot stage per tier of POI. So let me give an example. In the Shotgun Messiah Factory, a tier 5 POI, on day 1, at level 1, in the forest biome, your loot stage would be 16. That is your base of 1, plus 3 times 5, which is 15, so total 16. Meanwhile, in the forest nearby, it's 1, because there is no tier modifier in the wilderness. However, over at the trader, it's back up to 4, because the trader is considered tier 1, and so you get plus 3 loot stage there. As you level up, so does this modifier. Check out this graph. On the left, you see the tier modifier. The minimum you can get at the bottom is 3 loot stage per tier, which starts at level 1. The maximum you can get is 18 loot stage per tier, and that is achieved at level 300. The loot stage bonus from tier increases linearly as you level up. 
Hypothetically speaking, at level 300 in the same Shotgun Messiah factory, you'll get 18 times 5 or plus 90 to your base loot stage. Confused? Well, basically, loot stage is scaled up based on the difficulty of your location. Now that we understand biome and tier modifiers, we'll get to look at item modifiers, of which there are two. First up, Lucky Goggles. Lucky Goggles come in three varieties, plus three, plus four, and plus five to your loot stage, and that addition is added after biome and tier modifiers. It's not much, but it's better than a punch in the nuts. Plus five goggles will be used for explanation purposes moving forward. The second is Eye Candy. Eye Candy gives you a flat plus five to your loot stage, followed by plus 10%. The flat number modifier for these items is added first, then percentages are calculated next, and that brings us to the percentage modifiers. The final topic within loot stage modifiers is the famous Lucky Looter perk tree, as well as the eye candy percentage. These are the final calculations, and if both modifiers are active, both will be added together, and the percentage increase will be applied all at once. Lucky Looter delivers you a plus 5% bonus to your loot stage with each point taken, up to a maximum of 25%. Quick example here, if you have two points in Lucky Looter and Eye Candy active, you'll get a final plus 20% or 1.2 times modifier to your loot stage after all other modifiers are calculated. Now if you've ever watched my Loot Explained and Is Lucky Looter Worth It video, you'll know that taking Lucky Looter points early game is no bueno. But what about now? Let's see. In the forest biome, at level 1, one point into Lucky Looter does nothing to your loot stage, because plus 5% of 1 is 1 1.05, which the game rounds down to 1, leaving you with nothing for your skill point. At level 20, each point into Lucky Looter gives you plus 1 loot stage, because plus 5% of 20 is 1. At level 60, each point into Lucky Looter gives you plus 3 loot stage, because 5% of 60 is 3. Easy math. We now know that Lucky Looter percentage is applied after the biome modifier, so let's look at the same three scenarios. At level 1, in the snow biome, your loot stage is 22. One point into Lucky Looter gets you plus 1 loot stage. At level 20 in the snow, your loot stage is 60, so each point nets you plus 3 loot stage. At level 60, your loot stage is 140. Each lucky looter point gets you plus 7 loot stage. This is all before you even enter a town or POI. Actually looting inside a building with these stats will further increase your loot stage. I think at this point it's safe for me to say that taking points into Lucky Looter is worth it in the mid to late game. Let's take an arbitrary level of 45 in the forest biome, add plus 5 per tier of POI, let's say for example purposes tier 3, so plus 15, then plus 5 from Lucky Goggles, plus 5 from Eye Candy, and then 3 points into Lucky Looter. Your base loot stage would be 45, with some of the modifiers it would be up to 77, and with those 3 points into Lucky Looter, up to 88. I would say that's relatively dramatic and worth the investment, particularly when loot stage 90 is the start of Tech 3 loot, which we'll get into later. But is it now worth it in the early game? The answer is... Yes. If you happen to go to the snow biome on day one, like I did in the Frostbite series, you'll begin to benefit immediately from major loot stage bonuses. At level 10, your loot stage in a tier 2 POI is 47. With Lucky Goggles and Eye Candy, it's 62. With 3 points into Lucky Looter on top of that, it's 71. At level 10. Yes, please. One more exercise just for fun. What is the maximum loot stage bonus that I can receive? Well, let's see. At level 50, with 5 points into Lucky Looter, wearing Lucky Goggles, and using Eye Candy, and looting in a Tier 5 POI in the Wasteland, that's 50 times 2.5 plus 30 plus 27 plus 10 times 1.35 equals 259.2, a 518% increase in loot stage. But we're not done yet. Let's continue. 
The Lucky Looter book series does not grant you a loot stage bonus, but it can add a modifier to certain types of loot. The book description itself is vague, but the game files tell no lies. Each book increases the amount of the applicable item by 20%. The next thing we need to discuss are the loot tiers. A loot tier is a loot stage range in which certain loot items are available. Let's look at this chart, and there will be a link to this in the description for you to view for yourself. At the top, you can see the game stage increasing as you move to the right. The four sections of rows correspond to item tech, not to be confused with loot tiers. Item techs are broken down into T0, T1, T2, and T3, and an example of this in the game would be the pipe shotgun, double barrel shotgun, pump shotgun, and auto shotgun respectively. We'll continue with the shotgun for explanation purposes, but this applies to all weapons, tools, armor, and many other loot items which fall into certain tech levels. You can see the range at which you would find a pipe shotgun, and simply put, the higher your loot stage, the better your chance of finding a higher quality one. Quality is represented by the six quality colors. So you can see that there is a maximum loot stage at which you will see certain item techs, but more importantly, there is a minimum loot stage. And this is what a loot tier is. Tier 0, loot stage 1 to 11. Tier 1, loot stage 12 to 49. Tier 2, loot stage 50 to 90. Tier 3, loot stage 90 and above. So here's an example to illustrate the point. You will never see a pipe shotgun at loot stage 48 because you will have essentially graduated from the primitive tech of weapons, tech 0. You will also never see a pump shotgun at this loot stage you'll have to be loot stage 50 in order to have a chance to start seeing those at quality one. I want to take a moment to quickly say that this video is not intended to give you hard and fast numbers. Loot tables are likely subject to change in the future, but the general principles outlined here today should hold true long term. As you progress through the loot tiers, it becomes less likely that you will find items that belong to lower techs, and more likely that you will find items of higher techs. What this looks like in-game is that there will come a point where you'll be less likely to find quality 6 items of one tech, but more likely to find quality 1 items of the next tech. Lower quality items have significantly less sell value and can't hold as many mods, so usually breaking into a new loot tier is a little bit painful, as you have to compare low quality, higher tech items to higher quality, lower tech items. For example, a quality 6 pipe shotgun versus a quality 1 double barrel shotgun. Speaking of item quality, here's how that works. Quality ranges from 1 through 6, and most items have a chance to roll variable statistics. The range for stats varies, but for damage, it can be 15% higher or lower. So it is possible to find a lower quality item with better stats than the next highest quality item, because the lower quality item rolled 15% higher and the higher quality item rolled 15% lower. When mods are placed in mod slots, it gives a plus 10% bonus to the base stats, which is calculated before the variable statistics roll. The last important thing to know about looting is knowing which items are loot stage dependent and which are not. Generally speaking, all tools, weapons, and armor will vary in availability and quality based on loot stage. But does loot stage affect food, ammo, mods, parts, books, schematics, or medicine? Ammo? Yes. Better chance for larger quantities of bullets. Medicine? No. Mods? Yes. Better chance for rare mods. Food? No. Parts? Yes. Better chance for rare parts like rocket launcher parts. Clothing? No. Books and schematics? Yes. Better chance for uncommon and rare books and schematics including recipes. One topic I haven't covered thus far is the looting speed with Lucky Looter. Of course, this is a nice added benefit for Lucky Looter, but in my personal opinion, the loot stage increase is really the only factor that should be weighed when opting for or against Lucky Looter. But we all have our own ways of playing the game. So is Lucky Looter worth it? I'm not going to advocate one way or the other. If you should take points into Lucky Looter, putting points into Perception and Lucky Looter will absolutely provide you with a better chance for better loot at all levels. It's up to you to decide if you feel that the points used are justifiable. Certainly there are some situations that are better than others, like higher tier POIs or more difficult biomes, but Lucky Looter essentially amounts to luck after all. So the only question really is, are you feeling lucky? I hope you found this information helpful, and if you did, let me know by leaving a like and a comment, and be sure to share this video with your friends as well. 
Here's my pitch to you. Hit that subscribe button and join the ranks of the Nerds of Steel. And I'll continue to bring to you deep dives into game mechanics, let's plays, live streams, base builds, tips and tricks, horde fights, and tutorials. The game mechanics are constantly evolving, and I'll be here to explain them to you every step of the way. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. While you're waiting for the next video, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to join the ranks of the Nerds of Steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly livestream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who help grow and shape this channel. My name is Temriki, and I hope that I earned your subscription today. I'll see you next time.